Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome one more time to DeFi Daily. Today we're gonna cover a Solana project. We're gonna do a review of Orca, which is a decentralized exchange as well as an AMM on the Solana blockchain. Before we start with the video, guys, just wanted to remind you that if you are liking this content, please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button, click the bell to make sure that you receive notifications every time we upload a new video and share this video with your friends. This is going to be very, very helpful so that the channel continue growing. And in this way, you will help me to continue making more and more videos. Before we jump into the detailed review of the project, let me show you my own investments in Orca because I like to bring projects in which I have personally invested. So in this case, you can check always your liquidity using this menu in Orca. As you can see, I have about $3,000 invested here and 0.87 Orca as profit or ready to harvest. This is close to $15 or $16. And just for you guys to have an idea, I am making about $6, $7 every day on benefit in this project. Please remember, this is not financial advice, guys. You should take your own time to do research and investigate this project and any other project where you invest your money. So guys, let's start with a review of the potential of the project. And to do this, I'm gonna show you in DeFi Yama the total value lock and how in one month, guys, this has gone crazy. Back in August, the total value lock was around 80 million. Then in September, we reached the 200 million, but guys, Right now, we are almost at 1 billion. This means that in a month, the project did a 10x in total value lock, that it's crazy for a DeFi project. So definitely a lot of potential. Yes, it already exploded, but I think there's still a lot of room for growth. And let's check out the price chart. So if we go to CoinGecko, you can see that right now Orca is trading about $17.97, so almost $18. But there was a big drop of 10%. So guys, if you like to buy the dip, it might be a good time. Again, this is not financial advice, do your own research. But if the price holds uh, the $17 mark, I think it could be a good entry point because yeah, it already experienced almost a 10% drop. So uh, yeah, in the 24 hour uh, chart, you can see that the price is holding uh, that $17 support. In the 14 days, uh, you can see that we were back at uh, $5 in the 21st of September. We were able to hit that $20 uh, mark a couple days ago. If we go a little bit, uh, zoom out to the 30 days uh, chart, you can see that the price was pretty much steady until yeah, that uh, volume kind of exploded. Um, and overall, yeah, I mean, the, the, the behavior of the token is very positive, guys. So I think in the long term, it's a token that even though it already exploded, it can give us still huge gains. So as you can see, already a 300%, 200% in the last 15 days, a lot of potential, guys. Before we check the actual platform, let me go quickly through their Medium post because I think it's just amazing. So these guys, they call themselves the most user-friendly AMM on Solana. They say they are the easiest and the fastest project. So at the end, it's all about a human center DEX. They want to make the customer experience as good as possible, right? And they've been able to do this by gathering the feedback from the users to make it more simple and more human friendly. This is why I think we have in front of us definitely a project with a lot of potential where I'm going to be investing some of my chips because I think in the future, there is a lot of potential for huge growth. And they also have a very balanced team. So they have a software engineer that is deeply experienced in blockchain, but they also have a engineer that is focused on customer and human center design, which is also critical for any project nowadays. Let's go now to the actual platform. And we're going to start the review by showing you the exchange and swap functionality, which is probably one of the things that I like the most about this project because they make it so easy and so friendly for the customer and for the user. They have developed a very cool functionality that is this search bar where you can type something as simple as 10 USDT to Bitcoin. And you can actually click on it and automatically is gonna enable you the swap function with these two tokens, which is very, very convenient. Also, the fees are very low. You can check that in the fair price and making overall this exchange system or exchange functionality super user-friendly and super easy. They also have the stable swap functionality, which is very good. What it enables you is to swap between tokens that are pegged to the dollar with very, very low fees. And therefore, 
making it very convenient because we can swap all our tokens using only Orca. The next element of the project that we're going to review is the pools. Here is where we can lock our coins, where we can stake our money in order to generate yields. As you can see, they have almost 1 billion in total value locked with the Orca price right now around $18.23. They have very interesting pools with very high APRs and APYs. I haven't yet invested in this one, but I'm going to definitely put some money into the Orca USDC because I think Orca in the long term is going to perform very well and it's paying more than 200%. I mean, you guys can check all of them, but in my case, I have invested in two. So let me show you. The first one is the Solana Bitcoin, so Sol Bitcoin, uh, two tokens that I have in my portfolio in long term. They're paying almost a 30% in APR, which is very good. I have about 0 0.03 Orca to harvest, which is approximately 50 cents. Um, I actually harvested some money yesterday evening. So again, this is probably 12 hours benefit, but still is very good. And following in our compound interest strategy, we're going to harvest all the benefits and we're going to then reinvest them. The next pool where I have invested is the Solana USDC. Uh, so paying also very good yearly returns, almost 45%, which is great. In this case, I'm going to harvest 0 0.87 Orca, that is yeah, close to $15. As you could see, very easy, clicked on the harvest button and confirmed the transaction in the wallet. As always, I am following a compound interest strategy. So all the benefits that I get paid in Orca, I'm going to start reinvesting them into this Orca Sol pool, which is paying 199% APR, which is very, very good. You click on the button deposit, guys. So if you want to start investing here, you just need to click the deposit button. Then you're going to click on balance. You can click on one of both tokens and the system is going to calculate automatically the amount of tokens that you're going to be able to invest. Remember, it's going to be 50% and 50% of each token. In my case, I'm going to be able to invest here a total of $32, which is actually part of the profit that I already generated. So I'm doing a compound interest strategy. You click deposit, you confirm the transaction in your wallet. And with these guys, you're going to be able to start earning yields. And again, Guys, if you want to replicate the compound interest strategy, the same profits that you're going to be earning in this pool, you should reinvest them to maximize your profits in the long term. With these guys, you are ready to start investing in Orca. And before we wrap up the video of today, I want to show you the Orca tokenomics because I think there is a very, very interesting thing that these guys are doing in the fee structure and which is worth calling it out because I think it talks great about this team. So yeah, usually in other projects, 0.3% uh, is distributed to the liquidity providers. In this case, you can see that only 0.25% will be distributed to liquidity providers. And why is this? It is because part of it will go to the Orca treasury. So this is part of the DAO, right? The governance mechanism. And actually with this money, the team, what they are trying to do is to fund the development of the project which if we think about it, will be good for long-term investments. Now, the second element that I like very much is the Orca Impact Fund. So 0.01% of the fees will go to this. And this is what I really like about the project. So this actually represents the team's commitment to the real world positive impact. This means they are donating part of those fees to actually fight climate change, which I think it's a great idea. And you don't see this in a lot of DeFi projects. So great and thumbs up to this team. You can also check the tokenomics here and how the distribution of the tokens happen. So 20% went to the team, 0.9% went to the advisors. I think it's a fairly, you know, right or correct uh, distribution. Uh, it has a three year vesting of the tokens, which actually will avoid uh, dumps. So this is good for the long-term stability and the price of the of the token. So I think overall, solid tokenomics. Uh, I really like that positive impact to the world. Uh, they have also this community fund, which is about 14.25%, which is, you know, pretty standard. Overall, good, good project, good tokenomics. If you're interested in the Solana ecosystem, make sure that you check the other video that we have in the channel where we talk about Soldyard and a little bit about Radium. So I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video. And if you like this, please make sure you subscribe. This is going to really help the channel to continue growing. Make sure that you like it and make sure that you share the video with your friends so that we can spread the word. 
with these guys just to thank you one more time for watching DeFi Daily and we will see you on the next video. Bye bye.